Hey there folks, and welcome back to the IMCDB project. I'm of course from your host CDB, you are not. And today we're gonna to use again the leaf razor, which you saw last week. I used it this week, I like it, it shaves very well. We're also going to be using the legendary tobacco soap. If you missed the video last week, the leaf razor takes uh, double edge blades like this. You snap them in half and you put them in this apparatus, which you see here three blades in there and then you screw it down and it feels a lot to me like a cart which is not necessarily a bad thing and it certainly isn't a bad thing uh for me it's it's a smooth shaver easy on the face um i did get some comments last week about it. and then you know along with the normal comments there's always the stupid comments you're not shaving anything well you can see you know i am now some of the hair on my face is obviously white, so it doesn't come across well on the camera, but I will be removing stubble, as you can see there. Uh, now I don't claim it's a Grizzly Adams beard or it's the thickest or anything else, but yes, there there will be uh, stubble removed and it will be in the sink once I rinse it. But that dumb comment, uh, don't make those sort of stupid comments. And if you do, uh, Rest assured, it's a stupid comment. <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Uh, it is hard to see stubble like that on camera, depending on the way the light is and all the rest. So I do get it, but th that has been something that's been aired a, a number of times throughout the years, along with the kind of stupid comments about there's no blade in his razor and just absolute foolishness. And I just thought I would clear that up. Uh, at the onset before we get too far into this video. Again, using tobacco and the leaf razor, which feels very much, again, like a cart. Um, it pivots like a cart. It feels mild like a cart. It feels, you know, non-threatening like a cart, but it's using uh, half double-edged razor blades. So it's a little bit of a traditional blade with a modern razor and I got a good shave out of it last week so I couldn't really find fault with it. Let's start here and just get over the ears real quick. It glides really nicely over that tobacco and someone was asking me, uh, emailed me, is it rough? No, it's not rough whatsoever. It feels very mild, feels very cart-like. It's sort of the not cart cart uh, type razor, what I would call the uncart or the, you know, whatever you want to call it. but. Sort of shades like it, um, but it doesn't have the really expensive blades because you're just using, you know, double-edged razor blades. And even though you have to use three halves, that's still one and a half blades for three or four shaves, whatever you get out of your, still far cheaper than most cart blades. And uh, it just feels good. I mean, I like it to tell you the truth. There, there were, you know, some comments poo-pooing it and that's uh, perfectly fine. I, I say, you know, Try it if you want to. Um, I'm like everybody else. I tend to, my default position is to think something like this is gimmicky. And then I use it and I'm like, that's not so bad. And I kind of I kind of like it to tell you the truth. It was a, It is a razor based on my last week of use that I would spend my own money to buy. Because it um, for those days where I just want a really nice smooth shave, I don't want to feel any risk whatsoever being cut. Now, of course, you can cut yourself with this. I haven't, but you can with any razor, including a cart. It just feels good and it shaves well. And that pivot works really nice. It's, it's, it's worked nice for me. I think if you're an occasional cart user or somebody who's looking for a really smooth um, razor, it doesn't feel super efficient. Uh, to me, it does a good job, but it doesn't feel aggressive whatsoever. And so I thought I would pass that on and uh, talk about the razor. And again, as I mentioned on every video, it uh, whether you try this or not is doesn't make a penny. For me, it doesn't put any gear in my shave den. So it's totally up to you. I'm not trying to sell it to you. I'm just using it and giving my thoughts. And that's why... A lot of these folks send me these things. They know, you know, I'm not trying to sell you on it. You, uh, if you respect my opinion, uh, and even if you don't, you watch and sort of get a look at it and maybe get enough information to say, hey, I don't want to try that. Or maybe you go the other way and try it. But for me, 
It's worked very well this past week. I have about a week of use. And again, I would recommend you take longer with any razor to evaluate it than a week. And so I'm going to, but uh, it certainly has favorable impressions as far as my first week of use. Not super aggressive again, but it's been doing a good job and it feels very um, non-threatening. You know, it just feels very smooth. It, it gives the feeling of a mild shaver, but it's doing a good job while doing so. And so I also used it for my head uh, last week and I found it to do a pretty good job on that. I still prefer carts, but it, it feels better than most these on my head because I just don't like these on my head personally. But uh, overall, I found it to be a pretty good shaver. And uh, next week, I don't know if I'll be able to to uh, probably not do any videos next week because I'll be on the road. I'm going to be on the road for the next several weekends with Christmas approaching and all of that. And so I don't know if I'll be able to be with you the next couple of weekends. But uh, if I'm not, I'm certainly wishing everybody who celebrates Christmas a, a very Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm sure I'll make a video tomorrow, so we'll talk more about that. But I'm going to be busy the next few weeks. So I might not be able to do any videos on the weekend because it won't be here to do it. But we'll see how that uh, turns out. We'll be, you know, visiting family and stuff over the Christmas holiday and traveling to North Carolina to see my mom and dad and my sister and all that. And then traveling about an hour here to see my wife's folks and the in-laws. So that'll be nice. Hope everyone gets a chance to you know, catch up and visit with their family on holidays. That's what it's all about. Of course, I'll be seeing my daughter too, which is will be very nice. Probably see her next weekend if she's available and then maybe on Christmas, hopefully. But uh, it's good stuff. Please, you know, stay in communication with your friends and family. The only bad thing is I'm missing a, a dinner party that a friend's putting on next week because I'm going to be out of town. So I wish I could go to that because that would be fun, but sadly we'll be out of town. So I'm missing that, but you can't do it all. You know, you have to sort of pick and choose what you can reasonably do. And we were already scheduled to be out of town and so I won't be able to attend that. That's too bad. But, you know, you, you cannot win them all. I got to tell you, it was an incredibly stressful week at work this past week. Just one problem after another. And whew, I'm glad, glad the week is over. We did, you know, make progress. I have some good people. And so they, you know, really worked hard to get things turned around. But, man... It was a stressful week, like the likes of which I haven't had for a long time. But, you know, that's why we do the work we do and try our best to keep things up and going. That's all you can do. I like this razor, I must say. Um, I know it's for some it's going to be incredibly gimmicky, but, you know, that pivot, it just works beautifully. It feels great on the face. It's doing a very good job. Smooth. No roughness whatsoever, and of course the tobacco soap is great. You know that it's hard as a rock now because I've had it for I don't know maybe five years. Um, it's lost some of its scent, not all, but some of it because it's just been sitting around for so long. But it's still a good, good uh, soap, and as you can see, there's lots of residual slickness. And this razor, because of its design, that's cart-like. You can just, it really feels non-threatening. You can just sort of whip it around, you know, still be careful. I'm not suggesting that you do that, but it just feels non-threatening. And so just like that, we've had an excellent shave with this guy. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of rinsing. And, you know, of course I'm gonna bring the magic made by witches and all that out later. I'm gonna finish it off with a little um, fine Italian citrus when I finish, but I just want to go ahead and wrap in the interest of saving time. It's around Christmas. You guys probably don't have a ton of time to sit here and listen to me drone on for 15 minutes. So I'll try to keep it short. Uh, again, today we use the leaf. Uh, I'm impressed by this razor. I like it. 
not at all gimmicky for me. Does a very good job. Um, three blades, shaped like a cart, but isn't a cart. We used it to back, of course, legendary soap, which is fantastic. We used the Razor Rock uh, 400 at our Timeless Bowl. Thanks everybody once again for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You're not, God bless.